how to set up the PCV on your 3800. This is a L67 with a Gen 5 supercharger and a L67 throttle body. What I did was drilled and tapped the plug in the bottom of the L67 throttle body, installed a nipple, ran a hose from that nipple to the brass nipple on the back of your Gen 5 supercharger. All internal PCV routes are intact with this setup, as is using the factory PCV valve and spring that goes under that cap. This setup's a little bit different. This has a older ZZP intercooler with a non-functional PCV route. So what I do is from the front valve cover, you gotta get metered air. That air must come from between the throttle body blade and the mass airflow sensor. Conveniently, the North Star has a nipple coming off of it that is in the correct place. So fresh air to the front valve cover. The rear valve cover, I use a factory oil fill neck with a PCV bung that you can buy at the parts store and a factory PCV valve pressed into it. From there, you run a hose to a catch can. I used an eBay special. This is a non-vented baffled can. I also added some extra baffling via some stainless steel wool. From the back side of the catch can, you gotta run it to a vacuum only source. What I used is the EVAP port on the back of a Gen 5. For a turbo car, you gotta run things a little bit differently. All the PCV routes in the intake manifold must be plugged, otherwise you are likely to pressurize your crankcase, and that'll be a bad day. So, what I used on this setup is a Motion Raceworks catch can, vented catch can, with 10 AN lines going to Motion Raceworks valve cover ports, front and rear. You can never over ventilate your crankcase, but you can under ventilate it. Thanks.